while the WTO is generally an effective organization, there are always, always ways in which improvements can be brought about. And I think this is particularly in relation to the WTO's negotiating role. And uh, I would advance three possible ways in which at least this could begin to be studied. First of all, I think that the WTO members ought to establish a special committee or a working party or a working group which would, which would study uh, the institutional uh, decision-making process to see whether there are some ways in which this could be fine-tuned in order to make the organization even more effective. I do not advocate uh, dramatic change, but for example, if you take the consensus rule for decision-making, there must be some decisions, perhaps of a uh, a more administrative nature or a relatively uh, minor nature which can be taken uh, other than by consensus and that would make things easier. And also uh, I think when one or two countries block the progress of the whole organization, which has happened from time to time, then it should be incumbent upon them to uh, explain in very clear terms the essential national interest which is at stake uh, and, and, and provide the reason for them preventing progress. I'm afraid that in the past uh, there have been some instances of tactical blocking uh, which are uh, not really in the best interests of the organization. Uh, I also think that it would be useful if the members of the WTO could agree on a number of guiding principles. For example, I think a general commitment to gradual and progressive trade liberalization so that we're moving generally in the same direction towards more open trade but at a pace which members feel comfortable with. A commitment to update the WTO's rule book which in some places is now beginning to look seriously out of date let's remember that the GATT, which is still part of the WTO rulebook, dates from the late 1940s in a world which was much simpler. For example, it was common in those days for a product to be made in one country and exported to another country. Nowadays, global supply chains and global value chains mean that uh, the origins of uh, products are much more complex. And this has serious implications for trade rules such as anti-dumping, for example, which is a major cause of friction in international trade today. Uh, I think also uh, a strong commitment to active and responsible use of the dispute settlement machinery of the WTO would be a useful principle to have. Uh, an openness to considering the possibility of developing new rules in our dynamic modern world because several issues are now bubbling to the surface such as food security and uh, energy policies, um, and, and several other things, climate change, for example, investment, competition. And also, a further principle, I think, would be a commitment on the part of all WTO members to enhance the development dimension of the WTO's work. The WTO has uh, a program for enhancing uh, trade uh, capacity building in developing countries so that developing countries understand the trade rules and are in a position to shape the trade rules in future to meet their development needs. At present, I'm afraid, in some developing countries, understanding of the trading system and how it operates and how the rules affect them uh, is not so uh, well developed. 